Hey lovelies, it's your girl Swan Angel here bringing to you a brand new video and it's that time of year again where it's emancipation, yeah. <laughs> and this year I'm drawing this emancipation dancer using watercolors because last year I did it digitally, this year watercolor and I'm really happy with how it came out even though she was a mistake that turned right okay let me explain to you usually when i'm coloring skin with watercolors i usually put the base layer of the skin tone that i want down and then add the blushes and the blues and the purples to make the skin look more realistic but i forgot to put the base layer and i was just coloring the red it's only when i put down all the red and i was putting in the blue i was like wait I forgot the base layer <laughs> and I was like oh my gosh but I said I'll add the base layer after but when I reached the part where I was adding in my purples I was like wait her skin looks awesome okay it looks so awesome so I kept the skin that way because I just and all I did was forget the base layer and if I knew I was keeping the skin that way, I would not have made the background so purpley blue. But coming down to the end, I actually like it. It looks like a portal is opening up behind her as she dances. So the skin tone actually inspired the whole outfit because I already drew her and I knew what colors I wanted. I knew what colors I wanted and the skin just totally took that plan out of my head and I added gold well I was also going to add gold that's my new obsession with all my pieces adding gold but I added galaxy here her hair was just supposed to be black I added more patterns that I planned to on her shirt but on her clothes so to speak and I was really happy really happy with how it's turned out and I'm not going to talk for most of the video it's just a little pop in here to tell you guys what's happening oh and for those who don't know emancipation means to be set free every year here in Trinidad and Tobago we celebrate emancipation which which is when generally the slaves were freed from you know being slaves yay and we celebrated by dancing in the street wearing African wear and singing African songs most of the African songs is by the lovely Ella Andel. We all love her. We all know her. We grew up with her. So, so at the end of the video, I'm going to put a clip of me and my group dancing. You won't really see me because I'm always in the back. I love being in the back. That's my playground there in the back. So if you see a big girl jumping in the back, that's me. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So bye.
Singalangas.